My name is Alistair Lee. In this video, I'm going to walk through the process of setting up a database connection inside of Adobe Experience Manager so that we can integrate an adaptive form with a database. Before we begin, we'll need an OSGI bundle that contains all of the database drivers for our specific database. I've already got that jar file on my system, so I'm going to go ahead and log in to Adobe Experience Manager as an administrator. Here I'll navigate to the web console by clicking on Tools, Operations, and Web Console. And we want to upload an OSGI bundle. So from the OSGI menu, I'm going to select Bundles, and then click on the Install slash Update button to choose a file from my local system. Here I've got a jar file, which is an OSGI bundle that includes the database drivers for MySQL database. I've got that selected, so I'm going to click on Install. And I'll validate that that's been installed by doing a quick search for MySQL. And I can see it's been installed right here. I'm going to click on the Start button to make sure that it's activated. Now that we've got that bundle file uploaded to Adobe Experience Manager, we need to set up a configuration. So I'm going to go back up to the top of the menu. And from the OSGI menu, I'm going to select Configuration. Now, there are a lot of configuration options to choose from here. The fastest way to find what we need is to search for it. I'm going to bring up my search bar and search for data source. And this Apache Sling connection pooled data source is what I need to add my data source connection. I'm going to click on that and add a new data source. We'll start by giving it a name. I'll call this my database. And that name will appear in our data sources that we can choose from. We'll keep the data source service property name as data source.name, but fill in the JDBC driver class. In this case, we're going to use com.mysql.jdbc.driver. Now we need to add a URI for our JDBC connection. I'm going to copy and paste this sample URI and just edit it to match the URI that I need from my specific database and then fill in the user credentials. Once that's filled out, we can leave the rest of the values as the defaults. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the dialog box and hit Save. We've now uploaded our OSGI bundle and created a data source inside of the OSGI configuration. The last step in this video is to make sure that that data source exists. And then in a following video, we can actually set up a form to use that data source. To validate that this exists, I'm going to go back to Navigate to Forms, and then Data Integrations. I'll select Create and create a new form data model. We'll call this Database Connection and hit Next. And I can see that the JDBC My Database is a data source that we can select. So we've successfully uploaded our OSGI component and configured it. In the next video, we'll take a look at how we can apply this to an adaptive form. Thanks for your time.